Hello guys, and welcome back to Smart Space Information Technology Blog. Today we are going to show you how we can use Linux operating system and command line. So, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi 3 as a main source. In your case, you can use any Linux distribution system, whether it's Debian, Kali, or Ubuntu, it doesn't matter, because we just need command line. And what are we going to show you here today is how you can navigate through the file and folders navigation by using command line. If you're interested, stay with us and we're going to show you how. Okay guys, so now we need to log on to our Linux operating system. In my case, like I said before, I'm going to use uh, uh, Raspberry Pi 3. In your case, it could be any other Linux distribution so let's log on so i have created a static ip address on my uh, raspberry pi so that i can connect to it easily and i'm going to type it in my ip address that allow me to log in remotely to my raspberry pi so we're going to type in my login name password that i have created previously and voila, I'm in. So the first command that we are going to learn is it's calling root command. Um, I don't know if you heard about it. It's calling pwd. This command allows you to verify where you are currently at your um, Linux. If you're using command line, you can type it in pwd and hit enter and you're gonna see your forward slash home and after forward slash second one you should see your name of your operating system in my case it's a raspberry pi so i give it the name as pi in your case it could be debian Kali linux or whatever you name it so that's let you see and figure out the path where are you currently located at the Linux operating system that's the first command and that's the easy one okay the next command that we're going to show you is it's calling ls so it's uh, it means list so if you want if you wondering what inside of your name folder in my case it's a pi in your case it could be a different name so if you wonder what is under this folder you can just type it in ls and hit enter and you're gonna be show folders and directories what is currently inside of the pi folder which is in my case in your case it could be any other folder that you have created previously or uh, default one so that's what we see right now inside of the pi okay so for instance if I want to check what is inside of the desktop folder you should type CD desktop and hit enter so right now we right inside of the desktop folder how do you know that inside so before the name of the folder that you write in you're gonna see the forward slash that means you right now on the desktop folder but remember that this is Linux pretty case sensitive uh, to the spelling your words so you have to spell correctly so if you see it starting from the capital letter you should type the way it's saying like I did so CD means it change directory after you have to type it in space and desktop and hit enter okay let's say I want to go back to the folder where I was before so you want to go up which is go back to the previous folder you should type in cd space dot dot don't forget about space because it's most mostly mistake that is beginners doing 
when they type CD and dot dot instead of space dot dot they just prompt the has not found or just doesn't work for them so don't forget about CD space dot dot so if you go there it's gonna you gonna see the same what I see on the screen so we go back to our um, to our pass folder which is our pi to make sure that where you are just type it in pwd as I said before hit enter and you're gonna see where exactly you are located so you are right now and the pi which is a pass and that's the way how you check it if you're gonna go backward just type CD and the name of the folder so that's job again hit enter and you go back to the desktop folder if you go back up and again back to your past folder the way we came from so go CD dot dot space dot dot sorry and just hit enter and you go back to the past folder it's pretty easy okay so what if you want to check what is inside of Python case? But I'm already in the Python, so I go back to my previous folder. And uh, by checking what is inside of the folder of Python case, I mean, like, if you want to go to the Python folder, you should type it in Python games right and you just write in of the uh, Python games folder so what if you want to look at the root directory just look so remember first ls command just let you look at what is inside of any directory that you're using this ls command you're not there you're just looking what is inside so if you want to look what is inside of the root just Type it in ls and space and forward slash and type it in and hit enter. So, in that way, you're gonna see the root folder that is strictly um, prohibited to actually, if you don't know what you're doing, strictly prohibited to touch it, especially for the beginners. So, but we still are in the Python games folder. We're not in the root folder. We're still looking at the Python. Uh, we're still looking at the uh, root folders. We are not there. We're just looking at it. Just remember that. So if you want to go from the Python games to the root directory, we should go back to. Uh, no, first, we, we, uh, like if you want to go to root, you should go type cd and forward slash in that case cd which we know already is a change directory so if you want to change directory it means that you want to move from this point to the another one so type it in and you write inside of the root and you're gonna see no any name you're just gonna see the dollar sign and the forward slash which is right in the front just right before uh, the dollar sign that's me you right now at the root directory how you can check it just type pwd and you're gonna see the dollars uh you're gonna see the forward slash it means that you are right in the heart of your linux operating system so um i just recommend don't edit any folders inside of it it's just for the uh, 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 tutorial purpose Okay, so I cleared the history so you don't see all this mess, uh, um, mess command right in front, so you don't uh, mess up. Okay, so we, so for instance, if you want to look what is inside of the game folders, don't go there, just look at it. So for this type of, uh, um, for this type of procedure, we have to use list command which is show us what is inside of, of any particular folder so we are going we still are uh, on a uh, in a root folder as you can see that but what if you want to look at what is inside of python game so let's see by typing ls space home 
pass name in it, which is Python, then forward slash again, then Python uh, games, right? And now we gotta be sure what is inside of this Python games. But we are, if you wanna check where you are, where you still are, just type it in PW, like I said before, and as you can see that we are still in the root directory, but we can see what is inside of Python games folder, which is fantastic. It's the, you don't need to even go there to check at it, but if you wanna go there, inside of this folder and check what is inside from this folder which is python games you can do in this way and if you want to go like i said you want to go up to python games folder you should use change directory command which is in our case uh, uh, cd uh, home uh, forward slash home forward slash pi which is our pass name and forward slash again and python games in that case we are can check it where we are we are right now at the python games folder so which is uh, the same way if you want to look at what is inside at the current folder that we are right now you just type it in list and you're gonna see the same result that we had before when we were uh, at the root folder. So it's pretty much the same things, but in that case, we are right inside of the Python game folder. So what if you wanna go back, I mean like up folder where we came from, what if you wanna go back to uh, pass folder, which is pi, in your case could be a different name, like I said before. I don't wanna mix you guys, but just remind you sometimes. Okay, so for instance, you wanna go uh, a folder up, like I said before. If you want to go folder up, you should type it in uh, uh, to the previous folder. You should type it in, like I said before, you should type it in uh, cd space dot dot and you go to where? You just type it in pwd and you check you right now at home forward slash pi folder that the same folder that we came from. And if you want to do check what is inside game folder to see those folder desktop and all the Python games folder, just type it in list and voila, you see the same folder that it has so before. Let's assume that you want to um, you want to go to Python games, but you are currently located at the desktop folder. So what are you gonna do, guys? In that case, you should type, for instance, cd go. Uh, what do you go? back i mean like up to the folder you should type it in cd space dot dot so it means that you go back from desktop folders to pi folders and if you want to go from the pi folders to python games folders so in that case we just type it in back forward slash and uh, python games and we should go to the Python games. Uh, it's it's called a shortcut in some way, so you don't have to go cd uh, spaced dot dot. For instance, if you are a desktop again folder and you don't want to go uh, the way cd space dot dot to the pi folder, which is you are at the pi folder, right? And so we just double it typing, right? And if from the pi folder you have to type it in and gain cd uh, python that games to be right inside of the games. So instead of this, we just did uh, this command, which is make us much faster uh, to be appear at the right python games folder. Okay guys, so we pretty much basically finished with running back and forwards from one folder to the other folder up and down. So it's pretty much basic things, I guess. So it's not going to be making any problem for you guys. So what if you guys want to create the folder? 
in some directory or in some fo folder. So, I mean, like, without using GUI, I mean, like, if you're using Command Pro, how are you gonna do this? So, if you want to create a folder, you should type it in MK, MK, GIR, and type it in the name uh, of the folder that you want to um, create, right? So, for instance, I want to create the folder calling, uh, let's say, um, uh, just folder, right? Just name it just folder. Okay, let's. I'm not gonna do this too complicated. I'm gonna make it uh, uh, m empty folder. So it's just gonna be easier. So if you're gonna tap the empty folder, so we just created the empty folder where just right inside of the pie pads. So how are you gonna check it? What is inside? Where we are, we are checking by PWD command and we are in the pie. So what are we doing if you want to look what is inside of the pie folder? Of course, we're using L as command. So and now we see guys, we see this one. So we see we have created the empty folder right inside of our pie folder. What if you want to delete this folder? What are you guys going to do if you want to just remove this folder from the PI folder? In that case, we're going to use RM, which is standing for remove. Uh, so we're going to use RM DIR and type it in space. And after that, we should type it in M MT folder. The same way like we when we was creating um, our folders. So check the spelling because it's too sensitive for the spelling. So it should be empty folder. The same way we did it before. So when you hit enter, your folders is removed. How are you gonna check it? Just type it in list, and you should not see this folder anymore in the folder of buy. And how do you know that you inside of the Pi folder? I mean, in the pass in your uh, my name folder by type PWD. That's how we check that we are right now in the pass folder. Okay, so I just show you guys a shortcut. So what if you want to do the same way in the same folder, create the same name folder that we created before, like this one? But there is a different way you can do this. So just follow my steps mkdr space uh, and after that we should type it in forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash and after that forward slash you should type it in the same I mean like any name that you want to give your folder just type it in after the pi forward slash. So we, I'm gonna repeat the same name that I have used previously. So M T folder. And by hitting enter, you just created the same folder in the same uh, directory that we have created before. So how are you checking this? By typing list, and you should see same exact folder in same exact uh, uh, directory. So, what if you want to remove this? You can, yeah, like I said before, you can remove it by typing remove dir or mdrr space that empty folder, or you can do the long way, like I just showed it before. So, if you want to remove rm uh, remove dir space the sl uh, space uh, forward slash home and uh, forward slash pi and forward slash um, m t sorry m t folder by hitting enter you just remove this folder from the pi directory so how are you checking this just type it in list and you not you should not see this anymore 
You should not see any folder. See what's there? Now it's disappeared. And how we check we're still in the Pi? By typing PWZ. And as you can see, we're still in the Pi. Let's assume that you are now understand how to create the folders, how to remove the folders, how to move back and forward from one folder to another one. So what if you want to create a file? How are you going to do this? So to create the file, there is one basic command. Nano. It's called a nano command. Space and the name of the file or the folder directory that you want to create this file. So in my case, I'm going to create this file inside of the Pi folder. So I just type it in nano. And uh, let's name it uh, just uh, folder dot txt. So you can actually skip that dot txt but that's better to give specific option like for instance I'm gonna show you if you're gonna just uh, skip that uh, .txt and hit enter it's gonna still create the fo uh, file but in my case I would recommend you guys just type it in txt uh, which is just for practically for practical uses it's much much better so when you hit enter it's gonna uh, it's gonna redirect you to the uh, text file and we are right now in a text file that we just currently created so as you can see from the uh, from the top uh, the file name that we created is called folder from the capital side in the member if you just create a folder and you start a folder like I am from the capital letter don't forget if you want to remove this uh, if you want to, it's mostly, yeah, it's just problem with mostly with the beginners who just started with the Linux. They try to remove any folder, but they forget that the Linux is pretty sensitive to, to typing, right? So if you just name it with a capital letter or just create some complicated name, just do the same way uh, while you're removing, do the same way like the way you created it. Uh, just type it in the same way like you did before so it's very sensitive to uh, to spelling so now we can proceed now we can type any information of the uh, of the uh, inside of this file and whenever you finish typing anything we just save that and after we can check it uh, what is inside so let's assume I want to type it in inside something like Let's assume that I want to just paste the uh, Linux operating system, uh, the like the names like Ubuntu, Kali, Linux, all that stuff. So I just copy paste it from the Google and uh, just just fill in the file. So it's not gonna be empty, right? It's just just put any information inside of your file. And if you want to save that file, just cl click Control O and it's gonna prompt you to name it if you want to rename it or if you don't want to rename it just leave it as it is right now and hit enter so now your files is saved so if you want to exit from the editing file just hold ctrl and x and now you're gonna be out of this file so but if you want to look like for instance you want to look what is inside of these files and if you save this file so to look at this file you can just type cat and the name of this file that you created previously and now we can see what is inside of this file that we created previously so all of these names whatever you put inside of your file you should see by typing command cat space and the folder name uh, I mean like sorry the file name my what my bad but file name that you have created previously so what we learned today guys so we learned how to navigate the folders files how to move up and down 
from one folder to another folder and we learn how to create the folder and how to delete the folder and of course we learn how to create the files like basic txt file and create the files edit these files and name it the way you want to name it uh, and after that we can check what is inside this file so that's the basic one of the basic that you should know when you work on the Linux command. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you if you interested in the second part, so please subscribe to our channel and hit likes, and we're gonna show you more and more interesting in the next part. So see you next time.